Happening tonight, Zion Hills Church's Governmental Affairs Ministry is hosting a candidate forum. Alina Noakes is there and has more on what we can expect tonight. Alina. We're about an hour out from where that candidate forum is set to begin in the church's theater. I'm joined now by Herbert Dixon. He's going to talk a little bit about what people could expect tonight. We have 16 candidates confirmed to be attending, right? We do. We do. We have uh, nearly all those candidates from three police jury races, District E, B, and F. And we have the candidates from the Louisiana School Board, uh, the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. We have the two sheriff candidates. We have the two assessor candidates. And we have candidates from District 25 and 26 running for state representative. Uh, all of those folks are going to be right here at the church in the church theater. And we're going to have individuals able to listen at what they offer and uh, get ready to make an informed decision because early voting starts September the 30th, right around the corner. So what better way for individuals to start marking their ballots than to see the candidates live, answering questions that are relevant to them, and then making their decision. What can people expect from tonight's forum in terms of questions? What are you guys looking to ask? Well, it's going to be questions that's per per pertinent. But I'll give you an example. On the police jury, we know we have infrastructure money coming from the federal government. What does those candidates feel that money ought to be spent on in Rapids Parish? Uh, in the BC Board uh, race, uh, you, Florida gave you examples of new standards that's being uh, uh, dished out in, in Florida. Well, what do the candidates here feel that's going to be running for the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education? And also, law enforcement and what we've seen in our parish, we definitely need to know how the sheriff candidates feel and how they can uh, eradicate some of that in our area. Right, so if you are interested in learning more about these candidates that are going to be on the October 14th ballot, come on out tonight. It starts at 6 p.m. here at Zion Hill in the Church's Theater. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Alina.